Hello everybody, my name is Voyo. Today I will try to present you the game Malia Lands of Legends. The game that uh, is already on the Kickstarter a few days just in and it will be trying to make much more money in next days. This, there is no gameplay as, I'm, as much as I see on the YouTube, so I will try to um, present some of the gameplay that uh, is possible to play on the tabletop simulator on Steam. So, uh, as a disclaimer, I wanted to say that uh, I'm not native English speaker, so there could be um, simple uh, miswording or something else in this video. Hopefully you will just clo close your eye a little bit and just go through the gameplay, which is very good. Uh, the more that I played for now. Uh, anyway, the scenario is demonstration one. It's the secret of the forest of shadows. So in the beginning, we have the uh, short story. The emissary of the council, an Umberg, task you with traveling to the sinister forest of shadows. The stronghold had lain abandoned for descent, but the hired blades of the Black Hand, a mercenary band with a the speakable reputation have settled there recently. One of their leaders, a terrible Mai, who is rumored to be immortal and capable of manipulating time, is supposed to be there for a day. Your mission is to eliminate him before he departs. The Council's spies have confirmed that these bandits were searching the area for some forgotten treasures that would terrify the Maya. Take advantage of your infiltration to snatch this item and deliver it to the council. You gather a few of your effects and quickly head out to the immense city of Agarans. You must reach the for fortress in the heart of the ancient forest before the sun ducks below the horizon. Okay, so this is the this is our mission right now uh, in the main board, which is the land board, I think. Uh, there is a the city Agronans and others and we need to go to the uh, Fortress of Shadow which will start and first of all uh, I'm go not gonna explain all the rules right now but I will just try to make them clear as we go okay so first of all there is a day and night deck and there is the event deck so first of all we take one of this card take it out and this is a good thing that uh, they scripted this uh, this mod uh, did that much that it will automatically um, automatically uh, check if the um, terrain is the same as the token of the group, which is uh, right now correct. So we will be heading to the event the deck and take it out, flip it. It will automatically. Uh, um, change the side of the weather right now there is a sunny weather good weather actually so it just go like this and the uh, script says to go to read one on one because there is uh, on the cards cards um, like uh, take one number from the day deck and one number from the event deck and we have all all together the, the place we need to read okay so events we have one on one the Equinox of Knights. Okay. <laughs> the Equinox of Kings. A period celebrated through the region, many villagers are adorned with flags of thousand colors and celebrate for days on end. In front of you is one of these villages, is full excitement. Makeshift shops and stalls have been set up everywhere. Music drowns out the din of the crowd and Grand's tents cover the central square. You decide to take an hour or two to attend the event. Go to 01. Oh, actually, I need to say which character I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play Urberg and uh, Yoktal. So yeah, those two characters will be uh, in play, just to, just in case we can't play solo for, for this uh, mod on the DS. Okay, so go to 01, okay. You approach the center, center of the village. Villagers and visitors joyously stroll from stall to stall, sampling various multicolored kebabs. 
Appetizing aromas fill the air around you. Your attention is drawn to an exhibitor announcing that you can win gold by participating in various games of skills. You also note a few merchants selling weapons and assorted objects. Finally, an immense tent accommodates a troop of traveling bards. You have several options. Okay, so we have options right here. I need to quickly check. Yeah, we have a five gold. Each character has five gold, so we will uh, probably... Probably we're gonna... I need to take music a little bit down. Uh, okay, so... Um, we, we can participate in the test of strength. Test your skill by knocking over boxes with small balls. Attend to a theatrical performance that seems to be starting or head to the merchant stalls. Actually, for now, I think we can... We, we can... Can test skills by knocking over the boxes, but this will be gold. The gold is not the primary thing that we need right now, so we just attend under the theatrical performance 99, which is here. A large tent has been set up to serve as a big top for a theatrical troop. Rows of benches have been lined up, and you take your seats just as performance begins. In keeping with tradition, the actors bring several spectators onto the stage to participate in the show. To your great misfortune, you find yourself on a stage. Okay, so we have a test, skill test. Mm, as you can see, we can quickly, uh, quickly check the rules for it. And um, as, as this icon said, it's the everybody from the group, but uh, like we take uh, take it separately. Each hero participates. That total everyone's result. This means an effect of applied. So yeah. Oh no. This, this is the indi individual test. This is the group test. Okay. So you you can see there is a uh, multiple icons here, but it's very simple actually. You need to check the the skill and also make uh, check if somebody have this skill. It's I think the. It's like maybe moral or uh, dialogue thing. Anyway, let's see. We have uh, Urberg. The icon was this one. So this is knowledge. Okay, so he has one knowledge. So this will be one die, one skill die. And our Yok Yoktal has three. So three, three dice. And also there is a mouth icon which this guy doesn't have, but I remember that he has. Yes, yeah, so actually in the test with this uh, image, all special icon on the dice is um, is is not blank, but it's uh, like okay side, which is which makes that just um, one plus one to the score. Okay. Uh, so we need to roll with two blacks, black dices, and really quickly check if this is how, how I supposed to make everything. But I think yes, each hero participates. So everyone's result. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know how many I need, but uh, every three. Um, stop hand, which is on this difficulty die, and will cancel my two OKs. You, oh yeah, so I need to just roll till I think it's right, or maybe just one. No, one is not possible. Okay, so I got one, two, three OKs. One. Okay, I'll just take one and one stop, and I will be just copying them. One. Okay, so I have three, three OKs and one bad one. I will roll once again, and it's only two OKs, so it's five. Maybe just one more time, and we'll check if it's. 
Okay, I have second hand. And again. So we have seven okays and two uh, stop. So let's go to 90 and check if we're gonna do it well. Okay, so five plus. Okay, we have five plus. So we're going here. It's 120. The overjoyed crowd cheers you splendid interpretation. The bards present you with a gift in gratitude. These are costumes resembling this worn by the members of the Black Hand. The bards use this disguise for some of their acts. Note that they wouldn't fool the true mercenaries of the Black Hand, but who knows, they could still pro prove useful to you. You quickly don the capes and hang the mask from your belts, banking the ter theatrical troop. Okay, so get scenario card 09. And this symbol represents clothes that heroes could wear. When the group is wearing this outfit, place the card on the table to indicate it. Finally, you emerge to the big top and return to the center square. Okay, so we take 09 card, which I don't know what is it. Oh, there is it. Okay, so 2, 3, 4, 7, 5. It was 8 or no, 9. Okay. And for now, maybe we won't be. Let's just put it on a side for now. Okay, the festival seems to be coming to the end, but could stroll among the merchant stalls or leave the village without further delay. Let's go to the mm, merchant stalls 38. Okay, so the traders are beginning to pack up their stalls. To reduce their burdens, they try to offload as many more of their wares as they can, just to the right time to make a deal, deal or two. On the other hand, you have no hope of them buying anything from you. Uh, they clearly want to empty their stocks, not refill them. To see what remains in the stall, draw one card of each type as indicated. Each item in the stall has a small discount minus one. Okay. So we have uh, three stuff. Let's. And which one? Okay, so this, the simple objects. Okay, so one, two, and three. Let's see. Oh, uh, maybe just check it like this. So we have amulet. Spider amulet. Uh, Hex, I think, and we have daggers. Let's check if this weapon is better than any of ours and check if this could help us in any case. Uh, okay, so this is the limit that I can have on this character, and this one doesn't have any items, so I can buy. Okay, so this is this, this will be three. This will oh, this, this is very this give me plus one. Aura token, which has multiple stuff. However, it's I've never used <laughs> amulet actually, so let's think about checking the. Okay, so this will be for the stealth action, but hmm, do I need one? Acrobatic. Uh, If he doesn't have three intelligence and two dexterity, no. So this weapon could be used by him, but still it will be only one. It's almost the same as this one, but he can. This character can attack both sides as well. So let me just this. Okay, I will take that for free. Not free, but uh, three. And oh, this is not the. Yeah, so three gold goes away. I will give five and get. It. 
I don't want to make things a little bit harder because it's not like this weapon was super cool. We don't have character, and this one was expensive. We should, we will, we would take all our money. Okay, so I can delete. Oh, actually, I know. I want this one here and this one here, but this can can be deleted. Okay, so. We leave the village. Just one, two, eight. Your group resumes your journey. So we back to the, um, back to the land map, and we actually draw another card, which is also a good card. It's it's the same terrain as ours. We take the event card, and right now it's zero one zero two. So, after a good hour on the road, you find yourself at the edge of the enormous cliff, several dead cemeteries across, blocking your progress. A suspension, br suspension bridge made of wood and old ropes connects to the, the two sides, but it appears to be in poor repair. Several planks are missing, and the holes of it seems to have experienced innumerable bouts of bad weather. So we go to 11. The bridge should save the precious time, you traverse it along the extant planks, or take a little time to rough consolidate its morning before crossing it. Of course, you could abandon the idea of getting across the chasm here and walk along the fissure until you find another way over it. So we have three options. Confident in your abilities, you traverse it without wasting any time. You take just short of an hour to make some quickly repairs to the structure before crossing. Or give the state of the bridge, you decide to follow the fault in hopes of finding a less dangerous way across it. Let's let's do some fun stuff and just go there. So one zero five. The weather-worn bridge is composed of worm-eating planks, some of which are broken. In numerous places, missing pieces of the structure will require you to jump over gaps. As you progress across the bridge, the slats of wood that suspend your above, you above certain depth being to crack under your feet. The more you advance, the more the bridge sways, dangerously moaning the cracking in a way you do uh, ways you do find reassuring. So, when to cross the bridge, there is a um, icon here for I think everybody. Everybody needs to do that. Ah, this is the window. Yeah, everybody but separately. So, we need to cross the bridge. Okay. So first of all, I think the our Urberg will go first because his sense is very high. So he have three white dice and only one black die because he's very good at crossing stuff and also he has a bow uh, so he can balance himself which makes every helmet gone uh, on right side okay so he doesn't have any uh, heavy equipment and it's not bad weather so let's go and we can get we can't get to pets. Okay, so we we need how many we, mm, we oh we are three. okay so we need four four okays. Oh okay. Let's let's try okay so this is nothing and three okays which is very good. And one bad As soon as any hero falls, take this test. Okay, so one, three, three. 
<coughs> Applying yields and plummets, you feel your heartbeat pounding in your head as you pry your eyes open to verify that your reflex did. In fact, manage to grab a rope as gravity started to drag you through the bridge. Hazarding a glance at the emptiness below you, you scramble back and back up and tentatively, um, yet hundredly, work your way back to the way you came. The moment you return to solid ground at the edge of the precipice, you ex exile so hard that you wonder if you had forgotten to breathe that whole time. No question now, you are taking another route. Okay, 119. Uh, you thought you were following an establish, established path, but it gr gr gradu gradually disappeared, devoured by lush vegetation. You push onward, but eventually admit that you are completely lost. One of, your takes, uh, one of you takes charge of the situation, trying to remember maps of the region, guiding the group. Okay, so we're gonna take uh, our Guruberg, because he has a fellow ego that can help with it. So, the test is uh, sense, which is 3, which is okay. So let's take it up somewhere, right? Mm, there is no bad weather, only one. Okay, so this is the same principle as like before, but uh, every helmet is 2, okay, it's not 1. We have only two, two good ones and one bad. We need at least five. Okay, so this is the. S okay, sorry for that. <laughs> I, I instantly press Ctrl Z, which is not very good uh, for now. Okay, so this was like this, and right now. I had, I think, one, and two, okay, something like this. Let's go second row. Oh, come on. But we all have three hands, so we need to go to 79. As you each grumble about the weather, wasting time, your footsteps gradually leads you to an ancient battlefield overgrown with plants. In the middle of the remnants of rust armor and weapons, you nearly trip over an object covered in thick greenish moss. What have you discovered in this forgotten place? Get three potions, two yellow, one red. Okay, uh, one... One red potion and how many? Okay, and I get a uh, token for walking. I don't, I don't remember if I get it last time, probably, but I missed that. Okay, two yellow ones. Okay, so this will be... This y yellow ones are cool for getting health back, so we get something. We're gonna do something like this. Red ones is to get away the mm, damage from here, and I think from we, mm, when it gonna be. I will when I will be using the potions. I will just read about it because I don't remember. This is just regener regenerate one health, but this is also become to regenerate one health, and this is our health for for our heroes. And, oh, I'm just thinking this is for, for normal hits and this is for serious wounds. And this one cannot be prevented, I think. Okay, so we go back to the journey. Actually, we can't go because we have only one foot. So again, oh, so this one is not matching our uh, our type um, of um, terrain, so we didn't go anywhere. Uh, we don't have an event, but we'll get uh, one footstep token. However, we can't walk because uh, weather changed for the bad one. 
so we're gonna draw another card and this one is all right <laughs> okay so we are in very, very bad situation i think we should go we should take one talk and travel which i missed however let's roll how it is and event will be bad weather one zero six You trudge over several hills along the muddy path in the pouring rain. You slog along the bank of Tumulu to Tumulto's river, hoping to find a ford to make it feasible to cross the, to the other side. All of a sudden, a sari can surge, surges from the water and attacks you. The giant lizard is trying to grab you and drag you uh, to the bottom of the river. Go to the 135. Encounter number 09. Okay, so this guy. At the beginning of the turn, each player places their hero is a fr uh, in a free slot on a non-closed zone. Heroes are only dealing damage in the zone they occupied. When the uh, when the life points of zone reach zero, the players resolve the zone effect and the zone is then closed. As for any fight, place a amelioration token each turn. The Sarikan lives points change according, accordingly to the number of heroes involved in the fight. There is no bonus malus from adjunct placement or if you outnumber in Sarki, the Sarikan. During each turns, the Sarikan draws an action card to know which zone to attack and attacks every hero in the zone. If there are no hero in the zone, draw another card. The dice special sides of the non-closed zones are modified all the Sarkian's attack, whichever zone he might attack. Okay, so this is the special action. Uh, this is the special thing to do. Okay, so as far as I see, we this is this will 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 be something like this and we need to put our heroes but this is unexpected something i didn't i didn't what well, i i didn't play this uh, zero nine this fa fight with sarikan before okay so uh, let's quickly glance um, as any place okay and place a amelioration token each turn which I don't know what it is. A meditation token. Okay, so what we can see, this is probably the attacks for him. Oh, I think they are. They have a meditation token, each turn is like the. is the enemy bonus. Because it can be. Okay, so. So first of all, let's examine who will be first, then, 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 then do stuff. And this is, let's use one, five, uh, ten to, to make, make it clear who is first. Okay, so initiative, Yoktal has four, Urberg has three, so and this guy has three as well so i will call the oh we take the actually we can take this and the monster will be just that side okay so we, we will be in this in in that um, in that order Okay, so we can. I think we can start here. I think we can be numerous time here. Only can be two of heroes, and this only can be also two heroes. Okay, but we are only two, so there is no problem. Okay, we can reach for the heart, but it probably will. This will be very hard. Okay, so I think we should go here and slice the tail oh wound the head come on this is probably what everybody should do 
wound the head. Okay, this is three times per per group, so twelve. Yeah, six, six, six. This this will have six. Oh, six damage. Okay, so six damage is possible. Okay, so first of all, this is probably not like normal action, but mm, let me check as a fight. At the beginning of the each turn, place the free slot on a non non close zone. Heroes are dealing damage in the zone to cope with it. Okay. 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 So first of first will be. Yoktal, he has six, uh, six action points, so he can actually use the one, two, three, four. I don't know if the actually for this uh, for for this. Oh, probably yes. They are using the action points. However, okay, we have you use the four action points, which I can use the sword. And I will roll two normal dice and one yellow. And this is huge, huge amount of damage. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. However, I forget to take this. Okay, so this monster we will have blue and uh, blue and dodge dice so and this is only one one prevent damage so st one two three four five six still six damage which will which will um, take out this uh, zone so we can that and now the yellow icon is not more no no more uh, applicable okay so and uh, mr eagle will slice the tail it has six damage as well six health and he will use his bow for bow he will use uh, uh, so for one, two, three, four, um, and he will attack with two, two dice, but one. Oh, okay. He dodge attack. He dodge it. So there is nothing. Uh, nothing to do. Okay, so action card. It's gonna take a place because this is a monster face. Oh, actually, I take take his. Okay, so he will attack the slice the tail zone, and he using the two dices. This one and this one. Oh, come on! Wait, 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 wait! There's this guy will use two. two, two, two blue dices for defense. Let's go. Okay, so three damage uh, and one one thing will be uh, one potion will be discarded and shield okay so this will prevent one damage and let's check the sh what this okay so i can i can use one more action point to make this a shield so this is two shields so one wound and one potion will be off so i can take one potion out and one hit Okay, the order doesn't change, so 
I will attack. Okay, so the uh, Yuktal will go here. Well, actually, I should. Oh, no, this just this, e that this icon, he will still attack. Okay, this will be discarded right now, and I will draw another one, I think. Uh, yeah. So, he he has more. Oh, because there is a new round. Okay, so he will be, actually, will be first. Because he, ha he will have six. And all of my stuff is going back to order. Yeah, so he will be attacking the blue zone. I'm wondering if the this is the stuff I will be getting, but probably not. Okay, so blue, it's not in play. White. Oh, actually blue. It's, it's in play. It's, uh, it's out of play, but there is a somebody here so he can still attack okay so he will using the the same two dice and yoktal will use one to, to 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 change the symbol so blue dice one one black oh i forget about the wrong ones for attack and we have four damage. Four damage. Okay, so I for for damage. This is one shield. This is two and three because of this. So I have three and one passive is from the armor, so the all damage is prevented. Okay, so we can counter attack right now with the. Yoktal, he's using three and four, four action points to deal two red ones, one yellow, and monster has uh, has only one blue die. Okay, we have one. Two. And this symbol doesn't do anything, I think. Oh no, it's hits. And also push or pushback. Yeah, this is a hit or pushback. So pushback doesn't work to, uh, in this in this map. So it will just hit. So one, two, three, four hits. Oh, actually, I need to move somewhere. I will, I will be here. I was doing that anyway. So four hits here. it what can Yoktal do and right now for the Urberg Urberg will also use the bow stuff so for four and this will be two 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 dice is red So this is three hits, three hits which will make this thing off, and he will not have this, uh, this symbol. For now, I think. Okay, so. This round is also off. Let me check the action points. Okay, and right now the enemy is one more time. Did I just roll this? <laughs> I need to roll this one. Okay, one shield. It will be alright. <laughs> I just rolled the regular cubes in the color so it, it never it, it never should be any shields anyway 
Uh, yeah, so this is the order right now. Let's check if this guy has anything. He will have one more, so mm, initiative, but still less than Yoktal. So, no, yeah, Yoktal. So he will just go here and reach for the heart. There is eight. Eight, uh, eight uh, health points. So he will be using, as always, for stamina. One, two, three dices, and actually, I can take one of the aura tokens to give myself plus one red die and you only have one die okay so this will be equaling themselves okay so one two three four five damage five damage it's Let's go three, one, and one. So five damage for heart. Next one is he will be attack king white, which is the Yoktal area. He will use the two dices, and Yoktal will use uh, one, one more to get the shield, more shield. So we will be have. Uh, and okay, so we have mm, two dices. I think I I over over get some some dice last time uh, because I only have this these two dices from the row. Okay, and these two dices from the monster. Oh, this is five versus my one, two, three. So two damage. Uh, oh, I, I, I didn't hear any. Okay, so one, two, three. Okay, so two damage to my character. One damage to my character. Okay, and the last turn, this guy will jump over here and try to finish with that angry beast. He will use four action points. To yeah, and he will have one automatic hit. So two red dice versus one blue dice. Okay, so one four hits. You search the lair of the animal lying on the ground. 
you get two ladders, which is this. And how should I take it? Okay. Is there a slot for it? Hmm. Okay, let's just pretend that this can be put it here. Because there is no no icon for it. Maybe maybe somebody will <coughs> clear that. Okay, search. Draw one action card and compare what you draw with the table below. Okay. Now let's take that card back. Also this things also to the bag. And take one card. And we get black. You find a purse containing a few coins. You get two coins. Okay, so exactly what we can see here. So two coins. This is five thousand. Okay, so one. Two coins. Each hero heals two health. One. I think he has more defense, so he will. He, he will. Take the damage anyway. Okay, and we can clear area. This also goes here. And okay. This this is a little bit messy, but okay. Um. Okay. We can okay, so we go to the eight six. Uh, the rest of the journey goes smoothly. Gets two journey tokens. Your journey continues. We can't take that much, but we take one more. Okay, so right now we can use three of these tokens to move forward one point, and. Because this is in the travel phase, we can actually do whatever we want. If we we, we have uh, foot uh, tokens, we can just go and don't draw a card. But right now we need to, so we have two knight um, cards, and let's check if this matches. This matches our place and draw an event. So this is zero seven zero five. The rain appears to have no intention of seizing, and the wind whipped trees flutter and dance like disjoint marionettes trying to grab you with their limbs. Okay, and I think we can finish that part one from this video, and uh, hopefully you will like the second part that I will continue the journey. Actually, just a reminder, reminder, this will be all spoilers of this adventure. Uh, give a like and subscription if you like it. Bye.